So a Sony PS3 is not reading the disc. The disc is not even turning. So I'm going to replace the spindle. We're going to take this apart by taking the top off first. First thing you want to do is remove your seal. Now we want to remove the little leg so we can have access to the screw. Okay, now we'll take the screw out of this hole right here. Okay, we got the screw out, but as you can see, it takes a star bit. You can use a flathead screwdriver. It will still go in there if you get the right size, but it does take a star bit. Now we can slide the top off and we can put it aside. Now we have to take out six or seven bolts here on the top. But take note that one screw is shorter than the other six. It is in the uh, corner here at the back of the machine. If the back is facing you, it's at your left corner. That's where the shortest uh, screw came out of. Okay, we got it off. Here it is. You have to pull this thing up this way and off to keep from breaking the little tabs here. You don't want to break the tabs. You want to be careful with it. Be careful not to lose your little metal piece here. This is for your screw when you put your top back on because it will fall out. Okay, this thing was loaded with dust. So I have an air compressor. don't know if it was the right thing to do, but I went down and gently blew all the uh, dust out of it from around it, from all the vents. It looks pretty clean now. Now I'll take this here, pick it up. I'll unplug this wire. I don't know if you can see it right here. i got to watch the metal strip behind me. Here it's on this latched onto the back of this. We'll lay this down carefully. Okay, we'll take the screws out of the back of this so that we can take it apart. Okay, let's make a note. There are five screws that you have to remove here in order to get this top off. Okay, now we've removed all five of the screws. I'll we'll flip it over and take the cover off. Let's turn the power on. Let's remove this little disc magnet. I'm going to insert a CD in this and we're going to see if the spindle is working. And as you can see, the disc is not turning. So it's, it's free, but it's just not turning. So we're going to attempt to change the spindle and see if the motor is the issue. The eject looks pretty good though. 